What's up everyone, I'm Chirag and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, I will take you through how to send a notification when there is an error within any Lambda function based on its filter patterns using CloudWatch. So here we will start with the architecture diagram and the architecture for this solution, as you can see on my screen, is very simple and straightforward. So here we have a list of Lambda functions for which we want to get notified in case of any errors or based on any other information that you want to track. So here the Lambda function will continuously push the logs to the CloudWatch and CloudWatch will trigger the error handler Lambda function when any log entry matches the defined filter patterns. And in our case, here we have this filter pattern. So it means that if any of the log contains the keyword error info or critical, then it's going to trigger or invoke this error handler Lambda function. And finally, the error processing or the error handler Lambda function will publish a message to SNS and in turn the subscribers will get notified and in our case it will be the email notification. So uh, this was all about the architecture. Now as the next step we will perform the hands-on implementation of this architecture. So here we are going to create a number of resources. So we will start with the creation of the SNS topic followed by the creation of the subscription which will be followed by the creation of the two lambda functions. So first lambda function will be error producing lambda function and the second lambda function will be our error handler lambda function which will be followed by the configuration of the trigger and uh, definition of the filter patterns and then finally we are going to test our setup. So now let's navigate to the AWS management console and search for SNS. Now once you are within SNS service click on topics from the left panel and say create topic. Now here we will select standard, give the topic name, error notification. And then I will leave rest of the option as it is and click on create topic. Now as a next step, let's create the subscription. So click on create subscription. And over here within protocol, we are going to select email. As a part of the endpoint, we need to enter the email address to which we want to send the email notification. After endpoint configuration, click on create subscription. Now, as soon as we create the subscription, it will send out the confirmation email to whichever email address that we have mentioned, right? In my case, it's chiragar83 at gmail.com. So let me open my email address and confirm that. So the email will look something like this. Now, as soon as you receive this subscription confirmation email, you need to click on this confirm subscription. So I'm going to click on that. Now here we have successfully confirmed that we have subscribed to that particular SNS topic. Now let's go back to the SNS service. Now here we have successfully created the SNS topic followed by the creation of the subscription. Okay, now as the next step, we are going to create the Lambda function. So let's navigate to Lambda management console. Now, once you are within Lambda Management Console, click on Functions from the left panel and click on Create Function. Now, here we are going to create our first Lambda function, which will be Error Producer Function. I will select Runtime as Python 3.9 and then I will click on Create Function. So, here we have successfully created the Error Producing Lambda function. Now, we are going to update the code base of this Lambda function. So, here I am going to say Import Login. And then I will define logger equal to logging dot get logger and I will pass the name parameter over here. Now here within lambda handler we will define logger dot set level. So I will define it as logging dot debug. logger.info and here we will say sample info log followed by logger.error again we will say sample error log and the last one that is logger.critical again here we will say sample critical log. Okay, now I'm going to save this and click on deploy. Now let's quickly test this lambda function. So click on test and test again. 
So here we are successfully able to invoke this lambda function and here is our log that is info error critical okay. So here we have successfully configured the first lambda function. Now let's go back to the lambda management console and click on create function again to create our error handler lambda function. So here I will say error handler func. I will select random as python 3.9 and click on create function. So if we look at this architecture diagram then we have created the SNS topic and we have created the subscription as well. And then uh, we basically created this lambda function that is the error producing lambda function. Now we are creating this error handler lambda function. So let's go back. So here uh, we have successfully created the error handler lambda function. Now as a next step we are going to add a trigger. So click on add trigger and from the drop down search for CloudWatch. And here we are going to select CloudWatch logs. And as a next step you need to select the log group on which you want to trigger this lambda function okay so we want to trigger this lambda function uh, based on error producer function okay so we want to track this log group and then now uh, we need to define the filter name so i will simply say error handling filter and then optionally we need to define the filter patterns so here uh, if we look at the architecture diagram then we want to trigger this error handler lambda function if any of the logs contain error info or critical keywords so here uh, we will define a pattern error and then we will say question mark info and critical okay if any of the logs contain this the keyword that is error info or critical then it's going to trigger this lambda function and if you want to learn more about how you can uh, define some complex filter patterns then i have posted the link of the documentation in the video description so you can have a look at that okay so once you define the filter pattern click on add so here we have successfully configured the trigger now let's go back to the code here uh, we need to update the code base of this lambda function to basically send the sns notification whenever this lambda function gets triggered and for that i have already pushed a code on one of my github repository that is aws tutorial code and i will provide the link of this in the video description so i'm going to copy this code and i will paste it over here let me save this click on deploy so this is how the code looks like now let me quickly take you through this code at the very high level so from line number 10 to line number 16 we are importing couple of packages that we will require as a part of this code base okay and then we will start the flow from line number 95 that is from lambda underscore handler now the first method that we are invoking is process underscore event and it basically takes one parameter which is event now this uh, process underscore event is the helper function to parse the event by decoding it and decompressing it now the payload that we will get as a part of the event will be base64 encoded okay so we need to decode it and then we also need to decompress it and once we decompress it we are going to load that uncompressed payload as uh, json.loads and it is nothing but a dictionary so it's going to return the dictionary payload over here okay and then uh, once we receive the payload on line number 96 we are invoking another method that is process error payload now as a next step we are going to extract the necessary information from this payload and this is the helper function to do that so let's have a look at that so on line number 29 we have that helper function so it basically return the parsed response from the payload and this is the helper function to parse the payload to extract necessary information so here we are extracting the information like log group log stream log events lambda function name and the error message okay and after we extract all this information uh, we are going to return this information as a part of this function now once we receive all that information that is log group log stream lambda function name error message we are invoking send underscore email method on line number 103 with all that information because we want to include all this information as a part of the email body okay so let's have a look at the send underscore email method so send underscore email method is defined on line number 56 so this is the helper function to send the email notification uh, which is basically leveraging the porto3 client uh, that is on line number 63 and then uh, it's fetching the sns topic arn from the environment variable 
So as a next step, we also need to define the environment variable that is SNS topic ARN as a part of this Lambda function. Okay. And then uh, if the SNS topic ARN is not defined, then it will return the error saying SNS topic ARN is missing. And finally on line number 69, and on line number 69, we are defining the email body, which will contain all the details like lambda function name, log group, log stream, error message. And on line number 85, we are defining the email subject. And on line number 88, we are simply publishing that message to the SNS topic ARN, which will successfully send the email notification to the respective email address. Okay, so this was the quick high level walkthrough of the source code about error handler lambda function. So now as a next step, uh, let's click on configuration, click on environment variables and say edit, add environment variable. Here we need to configure SNS topic ARN. So let's go back to the SNS service. Let's click on topic, search for the SNS topic that we have created as a part of this tutorial and copy this ARN, copy, go back to the environment variables, paste it over here and say save. Now let's go back to the architecture diagram and have a look at uh, what we have created. So we have created this uh, lambda function. Okay. And then uh, we created the subscription as well. So subscription is nothing but the uh, lambda function trigger that we have configured. We have defined the filter patterns. So unlike uh, this filter pattern, you can also create different filter pattern for any specific error or information that you want to track. And then uh, we also created the error handler lambda function, then the SNS topic and the email subscription. Now, I guess we are good to test. Now let's go back to the lambda management console and open the first lambda function that we have created. That is the error producer lambda function. So that is over here, error producer. Now this lambda function will publish this information or this logs in the CloudWatch logs, which will contain these keywords that is info, error and critical. And then CloudWatch will trigger the error handler lambda function uh, when any of this keyword or any of this log entry will match the defined filter pattern for the error handler function. Okay, so now let's click on test and test again. Now, since this lambda function is publishing this uh, keywords to the CloudWatch logs, it should also trigger this error handler lambda function. Okay, so let's click on monitor and have a look at the CloudWatch logs. So as you can see, this lambda function that is error handler lambda function is triggered successfully. And if everything is configured properly, then it should send out an email notification. But here we have an error, it says authorization error. Okay, it's because uh, this lambda function does not have permission to invoke uh, the SNS topic right or to perform any operation on sns so let's click on configuration click on permission open this iam role and here we need to add the permission so for the sake of this uh, tutorial we are going to provide the sns full permission but all it needs is the sns publish permission okay so click on attach policy search for sns and here we will say SNS full access and say attach policy, but it's always recommended and it's always a good idea to create the custom policy so that uh, you can avoid providing any unnecessary permission. Now here we have successfully added the necessary permission. So let's go back to the error producing Lambda function and let's click on test and test again. Now let's have a look at the error handler function logs. Let me reload this. So now here you can see another invocation of the Lambda function. Now as a next step, we will open an email and we will have a look at the email notification. Okay, so let me open that. So now here, as you can see on my screen, we have received the email that looks something like this. So here we have the Lambda function error details and then the Lambda function name that is error producer function. Then the log group name, log stream, and then here we have the error message which contains the information error or critical error messages as a part of the logs and that is the reason we are receiving this email okay so now let's go back to the error producer lambda function uh, let's click on code and let's comment this okay and let's say deploy click on test test again 
now uh, this should not trigger or invoke the error handler lambda function okay so let's have a look at the cloudwatch logs and here we should not have any additional entry and we should also not receive any sort of email okay so as you can see here we don't have any invocation logs so guys this is how you can send a notification based on the filter patterns using cloudwatch logs so here we have successfully implement this uh, architecture diagram at last for the cdk code of this use case you can refer to my repository which is aws cdk code which i have recently created okay so here uh, as a part of this repository i have already pushed the infrastructure code of the use case that i have just covered in this video right so here if you look at this directory so over here we have all the necessary code that is required to deploy the solution using uh, cdk and within the readme file you will get all the details that how you can execute this so stay tuned and that's all for this video until that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time